you're in the right place. If you have a big vision and you want to do something to change the world and have a little bit more balance to do the things that you love to do, and you're also in the right place if you want to find a way to just really discover what your purpose is. Because we grew up in Indiana, and when I was a little girl, um, about six years old, I really thought I was a princess. Then when I was about 14, um, I definitely knew I wasn't a princess. I knew money was tight and I didn't want to have the poor kids lunch at school so I got two jobs. I, the light came on and my dad was like, God damn it, I can't believe you. You came in and woke me up. I gotta get up at five in the morning tomorrow. God damn it. And he threw a lamp across the room. And, then, and this wasn't the first time he hit me. But that, but that night, night was really a turning point for me as a 14 year old. I decided that I wasn't gonna cry and I was gonna change my life. There were just con it was just constant from the time I was about 10 or 11 until he left when I was 14. I was, like, I was just so shy. I, I didn't have any voice, like I didn't have anything to say. That's changed a lot now. <laughs> but, and I ended up following the societal expectations. Well, they say you're supposed to go to college, and they say you're supposed to get married, and they say in my 20s and 30s, people thought my life was perfect. I had the right husband, I had the right car, I had a great job at the Pacers, I had my MBA. All was good in the world, and no one knew what was crumbling behind the walls because it was this big facade that I laid out there that everything was perfect. When Go I figure. So at the midpoint in my life, about 36, I found myself divorced, was in financial debt of about 30 or 40 thousand dollars. I um, had also been diagnosed with lupus, which is a fatal illness, and um, that was a misdiagnosis. So thank God, but because I was unfulfilled, I had no energy, and I just didn't have any time okay. because I fast forward all those years. Um, I'm a published author in a book called No Mistakes, How You Can Turn Adversity Into Abundance. The bookstore here is selling No Mistakes, so if you'd like a copy. Um, and I also shared the stage with John Asaraf and Don Miguel Ruiz, also a chief marketing officer for Newport Beach and Company, and executive vice president. I'm also fully debt-free. Uh, I do travel the world and, and have had the great opportunity to create some amazing experiences. I feel very spiritually guided, and I trust that now, which is really something that I didn't trust seven or eight years ago. So why do I share this story with you, and why do I share any of this at all? I'm not the only person in the room with challenges, and I also know that there can be no comparing. Realization. There are seven billion people in the world. We all want basically the same thing. Why are there so few of us that have like that happiness and fulfillment? You, you know, know, we just have to change ourselves and, and living our passion and honoring what that is, what that purpose is. What, what we that do is we focus on negative thoughts. And, and it isn't it's the subject. You know, I often joke that the universe doesn't really know grammar, it just knows the subject. Like there's not, it's not sure if there's an adjective in front of it or not, it just knows the topic. So if you say, oh, I wanna get out of debt, the universe here is debt. What if we said, instead of I wanna get out of debt, I wanna have financial abundance. What is the universe here then? Financial abundance. Guess what you draw to you? Out of known and unknown sources, financial abundance. Something pops up. No matter what your religion or belief is, we all have an inner guidance system and we all have like this GPS for our own direction. And, and when you're in Arizona and you want to come to Los Angeles, you put in the directions and you don't immediately appear in Los Angeles, right? It's going to calculate, it's going to take turn by turn, okay, you get left out of your driveway, you know. So the eight Fs are basically categories that we have in our life. All of us have these categories. So I want you to get uncomfortable, it's where transformation really happens. So the second handout that you should have there just has four circles on it. I believe there are no mistakes in life. And there's a reason that your life has transpired the way that it has. There's a reason that you had the childhood that you had. There's a reason I had the childhood I had. There's a reason that you, you know, like doing certain things and don't like doing certain things. There's a reason that Emiliano is a very talented flute player. There's a reason I am not. <laughs> You're supposed to cultivate all these experiences that you've had in your life 
to start uncovering and allowing that purpose to come to you. So think don't ask what the world needs. Ask what makes you come alive and go do that. Because what the world needs is more people who have come alive. It's by Howard Thurman. So thank you so much. Thank you.